I can't be stopped. There's no stopping today. I cannot be stopped, guys. New year, new me. You're here now, aren't you? New year, new me. Couple of new year, new me things I need to do actually right now. Number one, what annoyed me in yesterday's stream, that this symbol is not symmetrical. And then I'm gonna hide that PC. Then I'm good, guys, then I'm good. Well, today we've got the backing tracks. Today we've got, now you don't have a click anymore. There's a lot, there's a lot going on. not the best thing in the world but I don't know where I've put my disc plates anyway absolutely cannot be stopped just just non-stop content content creation creation of content Same symbols from Tor, uh, the same setup, but I have, um, I'm a spoiled little boy, I'm spoiled. I've got, um, hi, I've got a set in America, and I've got a set here, and I've got a set in Europe. Big up Zildjian. Big up the Zillies. Big up the Zillies. I'm in a good mood today, guys. The floor tom's pretty insane it's 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 wrinkly it's like finger tight wrinkles you want to hear just that on its own it's absolutely insane oh, that's got me on it finger tight
One of the things that I'm going for in my all out on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going all out, I'm going balls deep on the tube. I'm going BD on the tube. Um, I'm recording this onto a hard drive and I'm just upload this to YouTube and then I'm gonna ask Unified if they can monetize it for me because it will get flagged. The algorithm will flag it. Um, so that, that's part of my commitment to going BD on the tube. Um, how far are, are, off are we from paying subs? Uh, what do you mean? On YouTube, you, uh, you can't do that, can you? Can you do that? I don't really know what I'm doing. So I've got a warm up. We're going to do my nice, quick 15 minute warm up. And then I'm going to rip some songs. So I can actually make it now that you don't have the click, which is good news for you. Some of you say you want the click, but you don't really. Output three and four. Now I should have the click and you should not have the click. Exactly that. Five whole minutes at 120 BPM, nice and slow, just oiling up those joints. Deadlifted 200 earlier, if you're asking. Um, Simon's messaging me. Oh. He's telling me about the subscriber lark. Right, five minutes. Get some questions in that chat, I'll answer them.
They've got a minute left. feeling pretty warm. I did go to the gym earlier which warms me up quite a lot. Did I have a pre-workout coffee? I've had uh, two coffees, some athletic greens and a pre-workout drink today so I'm pretty buzzed. Pretty fucking buzz. Tried to find vids on long double bass work for me. How fast can I play? Um, not very. I'm, I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy if you want uh, kick stuff. A lot of people get in there Downbeat tracksuit's very fucking late. It's a bit annoying. I'm trying to swear less, guys, because YouTube keeps making me not able to monetize my videos because they're a bunch of... Uh, what time is it here? It is four, just about to be 4 p.m. He says as he yawns. Okay, quick foot warm up. My hands feel pretty warm because I did back today, so no real need to warm those bad boys up. Hot guys. 
getting hot, guys. Body reveal. Body reveal. Sun is correct. That is the snare drum. That is the snare drum there. Now do it left footed. God, I hate you guys. Um, okay. Two more BPMs at that and then I'll play some songs. Such a good warm up. <sighs> Give me a minute, because I really do have a shin burn. <clears throat> oh. I've got a hell of a shin burn going on, um, which is good. It means I'm practicing. This is probably why I played so good on that last tour. For me, anyway. Also, I think I fixed the focus, guys. But it's funny, you don't moan when it's fixed, do you? You only moan when it's a problem. What do I think about the Oriental Chinas? To be honest, I haven't played them. I got sent this 19 Ultra Hammered, and I got sent a 19K. And the Ultra Hammer is amazing. There is one gripe. That I have with it, which is the way, it's probably why it sounds so good. The way the bell is inverted here means I can't fit 
my full setup and a backup into a symbol case. It only fits exactly my setup because that is inverted into the symbol case I have. That's my, that's my only problem with it. It's not much of a problem, is it really? Uh, yeah, it's like it's weird. Like most China's, the bell points downwards, doesn't it? This is actually here's the China, and then the bell goes up like that, which means you can't really mount it that way because you lose that much space, and you can't mount it inverted. I will take the hassle. I just I just edited my case a little bit. Um. But it's just, that's probably why it sounds so good. Like a Peisty Novo. Yeah, I think so. I think they've got the similar thing. Wait a minute, can't say anything similar, can you? Someone will call a meeting. Um, anything I, about my current setup I'd change or alter? Um, I would have a bigger bell on this crash ride. That's it, I've, I'm so happy with everything. Everything sounds so good. Anyway, if anyone doesn't know what warm-up I was doing, it's very specifically tailored to my problems. My problems being my, I've, done, I've never really had a right foot technique. So I'm concentrating on um, playing my first hit with my toe and then my full leg for the second hit, which is just how you're supposed to play heel up really, but I've never done it like that. I, I started playing the drums, trying to play death metal and I was copying Derek Roddy, and he just uses his whole leg, even at the really fast speeds. And it kind of fucked me a little bit. So I'm trying to cancel that. Trying to like get rid of that, and it's getting way better. So what I'm doing is um, the first eight exercises of the Benny Greb language of drumming, kick drum. And I'm really concentrating, and if I've got two kick drum hits, I'm really concentrating on a heel, uh, a toe stroke, and then a full leg for the second one. And then I'm going through two of the exercises from Matt Gasker's single pedal uh, lessons, which is really good, and it's like 20 bucks, you should definitely get it. Um, so, it's just the threes and the fives, because there's a lot of um, of the doubles in there. So for like the five, it's dun 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 dun. So toe heel, not it's not even heel toe or toe heel, toe leg leg toe leg leg toe. And when you watch anyone, any of my like hero drummers, Benny Greb stuff like that, they go they do two hits at a relatively fast speed. Their leg only moves once. Whereas I was trying to put it in boom boom real fast from the hip. Little do you know if you have a couple of injuries from other stuff and then you become old that doesn't last but it is going incredibly well just did that tour best I've ever played on tour most comfortable I've ever played on tour um, but it does to answer someone's question in the chat because if you're watching this later on this was live on youtube.com um, there is I still have to actively think about it and there are moments in the set where I forget about it. And I'll go back to playing from the hip and I feel it immediately and it's sort of like a reminder to go back to it. Sometimes it's if I'm getting tired, if I've not slept too good, 
my instinct, my brain instinctively goes to the other method, which ironically makes me more tired. But it's getting there. I'm very, very positive about the whole thing. So I've just been going from 170 upwards because that's my problem tempo with those dub double kicks in a row. Um, so I'm at 190 now and I'll, I'll go to 200 and then I'll start playing some songs because now I'm sort of practicing as if I'm going, to, I'm going to Australia, Japan and Florida over the space of three weeks in two weeks time. So basically I need to be able to play this stuff incredibly jet lagged. I'm also burying the beta, which I never used to do. I don't want to hear it if you don't want to play it like that. Played my whole life not burying the beta. For metal, for the natural gating that burying the beta provides, plus the ability to shift tension from the hips if you want it to the calf, vital in my opinion to learn both. Just found that out. Now, pre-tour, that was my max at that, and it was real messy at 190. Now it feels really comfortable. Really. Some of it feels really comfortable. Feels more natural. I feel I have the mind-muscle connection between what is happening in my body and what the sound is being made, whereas before it was kind of just fucking hammer your legs around and hope that the sound comes out properly. Have I broken a cymbal yet? Someone in the chat says. I, on that whole tour, I broke one splash, uh, and that's never happened to me before, and that is not even just me, you know, being a shill for Zildjian, as I am now a shill for Zildjian. Shildjian, if you will. Um, just broke a splash, that was it. First time I've ever done that on tour, I only broke one cymbal. Usually, right hand crash, RIP, China, RIP, at least once, maybe twice in a tour. So that's real cool. I haven't broke one in this scenario. So we'll see how long these last. You will see these have lasted. This, this setup exactly here has lasted uh, for as long as I've got them. Which is quite a long time. If you think about the streams versus an actual show in hours, quite a long time. Um, okay, threes and fives.
Okay, one BPM, I'll answer some, one BPM, one more BPM shift to 200, answer some questions. Songs. <clears throat> got real tight hamstrings from uh, deadlifting earlier on today, hours ago. Some questions in the chat. How did you manage to chip the UV coating on the floor, Tom? Thought it was indestructible. Um, a combination of this, as these have been on the kit for maybe a year. <coughs> a combination of that. And one time I got in a really bad mood, didn't I, everyone? And I stabbed the floor tom as hard as I could. Which brings me on to my next question. Or just someone saying, I really like the, um, the way that your streams are very human. Thank you. Trying to bring a little bit of realism to the drum world. No faking. Benedict Thatcher with a five pounder. In a pod ages ago, you talked about sitting back to help with a pinch in my hip. Did I mean further away from my kick or back on the seat? Uh, I've got no idea, realistically, to help with my hip. The main thing that's, that needed to happen was to play from below the hip quite a lot. I'm talking to this camera again, but you're here. I'm sorry. Um. Laura, hello. Welcome. Welcome in. My left foot, guys, doesn't really need any warming up because I learnt, for some reason my left foot just had good technique and I played for so long. I mean, I just do that warm-up that you saw earlier. Sometimes I'll have like a, 
extended sort of warm up at 180 where I just sort of wiggle my legs around. But to be honest with you, it sounds so bad. I don't do it when I'm streaming. I do it when I'm warming up, like before a show. Uh, minor symbol straight to the bin. No, I gave back all my prototypes because I'm a nice person. And um, to be honest with you, the rest of my symbols, I'm kind of waiting until, this sounds dark to say it, right? But you know, when like something bad happens in music, someone flips their van or whatever, and there's a GoFundMe. I think I'll just donate all my symbols to something like that. Um, seems a bit, oh, I don't really want to sell them, I got them for free. The majority of them I got for free. I obviously paid for them in exposure. Um, that seems a bit wrong to sell them. Has streaming helped your confidence while playing on the opposite? It has absolutely helped. You've all seen me be absolutely at my worst, number one. Which means that when I go and play live, let's be honest, there's 204 of you in here, big up. But, like, there's 204 of you, this is, if you spread that out across the world, let's assume that maybe half of you are diehard Craigie fans, and half of you are just here from the internet. Then, if you spread that across the world, there's probably not even one diehard me fan per show and all of the all of the diehard me fans have seen me play incredibly badly so it gives me the confidence there like if you're still coming to the show even though you've seen me suck then i can't be that bad and then the other one is like playing badly and then going back and watching it and I think when micro analyzing like I think I oh, was so bad why am I so bad at the drums having the stream stay up even if it's private to just go and check it out and just realize what well, it really wasn't as bad as I thought then that's really good for my confidence in that when I play a show like post show I'm a nightmare if I've played badly but if I played badly on stream and watched it back and been like, actually, that was all right, then a lot of the time when I play badly on stage, I either go and watch it if I've been streaming it, or I go, well, I've definitely played worse than that. And it was okay, so fuck it. Um, I'm just trying to read some of these chats here. Came a fan of you before I heard the band now. I can't wait to see it download. I can't wait for download. Speaking of which, 72 seasons. I can't wait. I think the Metallica singles are sick. Oh yeah, there's a lot going on here. We've got, we got Jesse, been away for a minute with a 14.99 super chat. Cyril with a 10. It's all in your own currency, guys. Cool. Thank you. Let's make this YouTube stuff work. Pre-workout recommendations that aren't full of stuff that will make my heart or nad swell. What makes your nad swell up? What have you tried that you don't like? And what? I don't know what I'm going to say here. Um, should I try and play a song? Now I'm going to attempt to play a song without the backing track. So let's see if you get the backing track here. There's another victim of the modern age. Right, you've got that, but I want to make it so I don't have that. So I'm going to get rid of this send. Just talking to myself here. Backing track for stream, send off. Let's just check. There's another victim of the modern age. I'm going to play a little bit and you can tell me what the... Um... Oh, we've got a bunch more Super Chats. Darren Olsen, thanks for keeping it real on the interwebs. Just watching you and your technique has helped me and drumming so much. Thanks, keep it up. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Um... Brandon Zaki's in the chat. 
Simon, I'm going to trust you for this level check. Also, if I go incredibly out of time, it's because I don't have the backing track. There's another victim of the modern age. Zero backing track, literally zero. So I, the bit at the end, I was like, because uh, the click actually ends up off the beat. Simon with a super chat. Thank you for all the great drumming content. Thank you. Jitanic. Nice name, thank you. Um, hello, are you looking for an edit of your podcast? No, I'm not. Uh, Simon does it, who's in the chat there, but thank you. Was that all right? Was, uh, was the song okay? Was it good? Definitely felt a little bit, uh, a little bit loose, but 
definitely not looser than it was before tour, was it? Like, it definitely tighter than it was before tour. What's up, Dan? Nice to see you here, bro. Love your drumming so much. Thank you, Liam. What symbols do, we, do I use? I'll tell you all of them right now. 15 inch, they're all Zildjian. 15 inch K fat hats, best high hats I've ever played in my life. 11 inch uh, Oriental trash, trash Splash. Can you say that word? Here's a thing. I feel a bit weird saying that. Is that just me being over, over cautious? Ron, super chat, thank you. Cluster Crash, 20, love it. You know what, the one on these on tour that I have, which I prefer than it cracking, just warped a little bit because it's so thin and nice, I love it. 21 inch K custom crash rod. Um, 21 inch A sweet ride as a crash. Yet to crack it. 19 inch ultra hammer china. It is all in the chat there, but because I'm gonna put this on the internet, I'll leave this in here. How do you feel about the Oriental Chinas? I haven't really played them. I remember George, who used to play the drums in Stick to Your Guns, had a real nice 18. And I used to be a bit jealous of that back in the day. Um, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Sneeze on deadlift day is, is, is a nightmare. Um, my advice to anyone who just said they're gonna check this out in a drum store is to just buy it for the meantime anyway. Um, because apparently, and apparently it is because of me, which is very cool. And if your name, if your symbol company begins with Schmeinel, then it's your loss. Um, apparently they've sold out of these at the factory because of your boys. What's your deadlift at? I pulled a real easy 200 kilos today, which is 440 pounds. Uh, it was hilariously easy, so I should have should have done more. Super chat, Henry. Favorite Zildjian symbol? I'm gonna answer this a million times, so I think it's this splash. Um, so, I do have new songs to learn. Maybe should we should not I mean to learn. We did it a lot yesterday. Maybe I should give myself a little bit of backing track just so I know what I'm doing. Just a tiny bit. Now, nah, fuck this. Let's do, um, let's do May You Live Forever because that's second in the set. Let's do it like this. Oof, sorry.
come out some other way. No! Please! No peace for my enemy! No! Annoying thing about not having the backing track, but not even having like ambient stage crowd noise, like stage noise, was uh, started thinking about what was for dinner halfway through the second verse, and I forgot that fill, but I was still in time. I had to just check. <laughs> Am I in time? Am I in time? <sighs> It still wasn't that bad though, I don't think. Am I just being overly nice to myself? I think I'm playing quite good. How's my mental health? Good question. Um, very good, very good. Um, and do you know what it is? And this is gonna sound mental, cause you know me guys not drinking too much and I really like on that last tour mainly because of the Mario episode to be honest with you um, like he sort of he inspired me when he said he just drinks maybe he drinks before a day off uh, and I used to drink to take the edge off and I felt like it, put, it made me um, fall into the click a little bit better but I've realised if I just don't have a backing, tr if I don't have any m other members other than me, then it doesn't matter if I'm slightly rushed because the whole thing is, it doesn't matter because the crowd's not getting the click. There's nothing on a backing track other than samples. So if I'm rushing, it doesn't matter. So, and also just not having the track there makes me not rush. So I, on that last tour, I just, I drank before days off and I was, mentally so much i was so bored guys but i was so much better mentally um and then like so i went to a wedding on f saturday and i drank a lot then and i feel i felt yesterday i felt the the dip in my brain and and the days on tour that i did drink before a day off i just mainly for the sake of it to be honest and out of boredom um, I felt it about two days later, not even the hangover, about two days later I realised, you know, because there's, there's a dopamine spike and then there's obviously this equal or le more than dip. <sighs> I'm not going to stop drinking, I like drinking, but I might stop getting drunk. Um, which is an, an issue. Um, well, I stopped getting drunk like three times a week and I stopped getting drunk on tour. Also. Our songs are really quite hard now. Getting really hard to play them with a hangover. I can't play Needful Things with a hangover. It's it's uh, very difficult. Um, so I'm going to play a bunch of stuff off Euthanasia, including I'm going to try and play Chest Candy because that's what I need to get ready for tour. So what would you like? Would you like three or would you like Guillotine? Next. I'm going to ask the chat. I've got to ration this water as well because I'm running out a little bit. Guillotine three, guillotine three. Guillotine, guillotine. Guillotine, guillotine. Well, it's going to be guillotine then, isn't it? I'll do three afterwards. How about that? How about that, guys?
Um, yeah, I think that is the original demo track. Was that good? I have no backing track, so I don't know. I feel like it was all right. It was actually quite hard because uh, we've extended a section of that live. So I took every little frequency in my brain to try and remember. You know what I am missing a lot and I'm not sponsored. But I'm gonna buy one. Um, in the States and on that last tour, I've got the Rock and Sock airlift thrown. Um, so, I like the way it bounces. You can bounce up and down during, like, that while you're playing, you, if you want to put a little bit more beef into something, you can kind of use the, use the springiness. I think I'm gonna get another one. Uh, man, you're a great player. Thank you, Brandon Birch. Uh, what do I think about the crossfave drummer? He's unbelievable, isn't he? Like literally amazing, that guy. Should up that mad Welch tuning system brand. Tuning your drums with a tuning peg like a guitar. It sounds convenient as fuck. Not for me. My view on most things musical instrument wise is we've been doing it for about 100 years now. Everything that's good's been invented. What's your go-to drumming shoe? We had this chat yesterday, I'll say it again because this one's going on YouTube. Um, Vans, a Vans old school. In my opinion, anything that's gonna be good for skateboarding is gonna be good for pedals, if you think about it. It's very, you've got to be very specific foot movements. Um, no more Porter and Davies. Now I got rid of it a while ago. Actually, I didn't even. I haven't even got rid of it. It's over there. I really should sell it because <coughs> that's expensive and it was expensive to buy. But it's just they were really good, right? But the nature of how f how often I tour in other countries of the world and playing without that thing is a nightmare. Like, it's, once you've been practicing on it, when you take it away, it's, all, it's like f fucking having spinal surgery. Like, it, you, you really play worse. So I'd rather, for my performance sake, be more uncomfortable all of the time than risk doing, like, so this Australia tour, like, you can't fly with it, it's so heavy. And in this Australia tour, the back line is rented every single day from a local place and we fly to every show. And you won't, I'm not gonna be able to get that every day. And I'd rather just not. It's slightly annoying because they are amazing. Um, thank you for the drumstick in Vienna. I can't remember which one. Were you one of the people, oh, we got really good at throwing drumsticks to people in downbeat gear. What goes in my Pelican case? Um, vlogging stuff. But I'm thinking about getting a new Pelican to put my mixer and my pedals and my warm up stuff in one Peli. Because right now I'm using a suitcase and it's pretty crap. Um. Glad a lot of people in the chat. There's a lot of people here for just YouTube, isn't it? It's pretty cool. I like it. Big fan of big fan of this YouTubing. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to make this video private after the stream, and then I'm going to get my request for monetization from UNFD, and then I'll make it not private. I am debating, I don't know where, what's better, I don't know if it's better to just download the whole thing and then upload it again. Or to leave this up, I don't know what comes up. What, what better for the algorithm, I don't really know. 
What do I look for in a crash cymbal? Being 20 inches or above, that's about it. I think you mentioned renting a star classic maple on that last tour. Is there much difference in sound from that versus your walnut birch? Yes. Weirdly, star classic maple sounds like a normal maple kit to me, like obviously a very good normal maple kit. And then you know how like DW maple has that kind of real loose, low, flubby note to it, which I actually really like. I feel like the walnut birches, even though none of that is maple, sound, and Nolly agrees, sound more like a DW style of thin maple than the Star Classic maples do. However, I do really want the Star Classic maple because they sound great and they project so well. Norflame pod ever coming out, came out two days after I did it, it's on YouTube. That sounds like a you problem. You need to try out the Zildjian Prototype Special Dry Zilbel. Who do you think I am? It is good though, isn't it? I can't really use it in my setup for anything, but it is cool. <laughs> Currently, I'm using it to hide another symbol company's logo. Look, that's where it goes for me. Genius. What am I, a genius? I don't know what it is. I'm not a big Zilbel guy. Do I like non-wood snares? I only like non-wood snares. I'm not a big wood snare guy. <laughs> It's not showing up on the videos. That's interesting you say that, right? Because it's been stuck on 16,000 views since it came out. And do you know what it is? I said the C word in the video a lot because I was with Australian people. Do me a favour and see if you can see it. But it got flagged, no, ad I couldn't do ads on it because it was hate speech, apparently. Um, but let me know if you can't see it. What's the ratio of me coming up drum parts versus the band presenting me the drum parts? The band presenting me the drum parts is never has never happened ever. Will Putney... Will Putney makes, I would say, 20% of the drum parts. But they're never any of the, like, none of the mad stuff is not me. The mad stuff is all me. Um, I'll tell you what, actually, the verse, no, it was me as well, yeah. I do think it is hidden, though, that North Lane episode. Let's try three. I wonder if I can do this without a backing track, to be honest with you. I don't know if I can.
job as a New York City police officer is, but I put that shield on my chest. <laughs> Fucked up. You know why I fucked up? Uh, on my live clicks, because I took the backing track out, I give myself gang gong 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 gang gong 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 before a section happens. Like, especially when there's samples that seem to be out of time. So the bit with a cop, I was like, when's it gonna come in? And then I fucked up the beginning and then it made me fuck up the rest of it. Not bad though, is it? Look at everyone with their real names. Andrew, nice to see you. Please play the house I was wins. It's not on this set, I'm afraid, and I am practicing for tour. The good news is I've got to, from July until October off, guys which is when I'll be doing some, I'll be treating this like work. Any reason for no vlogs on the Beartooth tour? I filmed a lot for like the first three days and then it just got really boring. Christina, you got your merch, is it all okay? Awesome, hello by the way. Um, yeah, it got really, I'm gonna go through it. I was, I, you know what, I was gonna go through it this morning, but I realized I left the cameras here for once. I might go through it. Um, there's landmines on the set. Now we're playing a good set, a set full of good songs. I might go through it and see if I've got enough for a little heart, like a vlog and a debrief, but it's very, very boring. A European tour, like really hard to, you know, I do the same shit every day very very boring I don't know if the vlogging life is for me do you know what I think I might do guys is are we liking YouTube yeah I'm loving it especially with people like you Andrew LaRue LaRue with your super chat there I'm thinking I might just look the podcast is going really well um Here's the thought that I'm having. So you know when you've got like big, big YouTubers? Uh, they, they always seem to have a cameraman with them, don't they? I'm thinking about putting some money aside and paying a cameraman. 
to vlog, you know, to do all the filming and the editing for like one tour. And then just see how it does in ad revenue with that next step of production value with the view that maybe it would self sustain itself. The ad revenue from the vlogs would pay for the cameraman to be there. Oh, I'm gonna buy myself a rock and soccer. Thank you, thank you though. That's a business expense, isn't it? Would I consider streaming the Welcome to Rockville set? Probably not. I think there'll be there'll be rules on that and festival like that. Just gave my drum tech or only the cameraman. I mean Gabe was both, but he's not coming to Australia and Japan, which sucks. Gabe's doing too much. Um I've got to get a real drum tech for our headliner at the end of the year because Gabe's not going to be there. Um, I'm, not, I'm not taking any. I'm not taking any. Don't ask me if you can do it. It'll be a word of mouth thing from someone else. That I know. Um. Do I try and play this song? Other than that, huge biff. It's something I've got to do. Oh my God, my heart rate's going mad. That was pretty good until then. I would have two sticks in there like that. That would have been much quicker if I was on tour. 
realistically, could have two sticks in there and that would have even been even quicker. The other thing I've got to do is figure out the tempo drop. There is a tempo drop right there. <clears throat> Let me figure it out. I bet it's one forty five. No. One thirty? One thirty five? I'm so close. 130? I bet it's 131 or something, Will Putney. Oh, it speeds up, you fucking... Right, I'm sorry guys, I've got to open up the actual proj project. Drums are going to go quiet for a minute. Got to open up my stems folder. <sighs> Daniel, I just have the click. I don't have the backing track. You just have the backing track. You don't have the click. So I actually have no idea if I'm playing good. The drop is 127 BPM. I was close. Project. Close this project. Okay, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. Okay, let's just figure out the ending. Boom. Was that in time? I don't have the backing track. It's just that, isn't it? Oh my God, it drops again. Motherfucker. Um, okay, let's have a go. What happens here? There's a really annoying tempo drop there. Ha! <laughs> ah, chew, fuck, bro. Um, so that is actually a breakdown. That's 127, and then halfway through, it's on the da 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 goes down to 122. So dumb, it's on that note there. again or it's the boner pills
Have I told you guys? Have I told you lately that I love you? Have I told you guys about my stick drop Tourette's? I've got stick drop Tourette's. If I get to a section in the song where the night before or even the time before I drop the stick, my brain goes, this is where you, and I don't even get to the word in my head, my like narrative in my head, I don't even get to drop the stick, I just drop it. So it was exactly the same spot. A little bit later on I went, oh good, I didn't drop the, dropped it. Now, I think, for me, that was pretty good. That kick drum pattern is so much tighter. Like there's a couple where I'm rushing the first two. But that was pretty good, I reckon. Like, give me, I've got three weeks. I've got three weeks to tighten that up and it's already pretty fucking tight. I'm pretty keen. Pretty keen on that. Someone said, what's the deal with Twitch? Um, the deal with Twitch is, right, um, like I love Twitch. I love the people at Twitch, like the, I love the community. I love all that. But the 50% thing just rubs me up the wrong way. Like, it really rubs me up the wrong way. I'm not giving 50% of my labor to anyone. It's not happening. In 2010, I decided to be my own boss and I'm still my own boss. Do I only have the click in my ears during shows? Yeah, on that last tour, just the click. Um, it only bit me in the ass once, which was when um, I basically had only the talk back mic on. Our, our sound guy accidentally left, it's called hot micing someone. He accidentally left his talk back mic on. Now he was, as in the microphone that he would use to get me to sound check, can you do the kick drum now please? So what I was hearing is the sound of the PA but from 20 meters away in an arena. So I had almost an exactly eight, an eighth note out of time version of the mix which was absolutely horrible. Yeah, it's 50% on Twitch. Um, it used to be 70-30 for partners and then they got rid of it and in, in exchange for getting rid of it, they said you could stream on other platforms at the same time, which everyone was doing anyway. Um, now, I do love Twitch and I did ask if I could have even 60-40 and out of principle, 60-40, and they said no. And I said, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just make nothing then. Because I would rather, let's say... So I made between, I made between like six hundred and a thousand pounds a month on Twitch, which is a lot of money. Um, but that means I also made them that, and they kept the ad revenue. Now I know what CPM is worth for for the ads of people watching, so they were making quite a lot more than just their fifty percent. Um, so. My, my thought process is to just really go all in on the Patreon and on this. And as long as I'm living and comfortable, then, then yeah, I'll just fucking just stay here. YouTube takes way less of a cut. I feel like the ceiling for YouTube is less as well. You tell people you stream on Twitch, they assume you're playing games. I'm not, I'm not playing games. If I get donations here, is that all to you? I believe it's all to me, yeah, which is quite cool. The subscriptions on here thing, I can I can activate it. I don't know, will you get a cool little badge? Will it be like Twitch? In that case, I'll just do that. 
Should I say sub subscribed on Twitch? I mean, you're going to give that 50% to someone else. What I'd rather you did is cancel that and just sign up to the Patreon. If you're already on the Patreon, there's a new tier, which is for three pounds. And that's just basically, I'm just thinking, if you watch the drum streams a lot, just basically give me three quid. After Patreon's cut, I'd probably make the same as what Twitch was making. But Patreon's cut isn't that much. It's like 20%. I'm happy, right, with the downbeat, the people who fulfill the downbeat. Anyone that works on a mutual basis, I'm very happy to give 20% of my labour away for delegation tasks. When Simon used to edit the YouTube and I didn't have enough money, I was like, I'll tell you what, let's just, I'll give you 20% of everything I make on YouTube. That's my, that is my, that's my limit on a percentage. And uh, yeah, just when someone else is taking, it, it's, it's the old capitalism thing, isn't it? When someone else is taking the majority of your work, the want to work disappears. Whereas if I come on YouTube assuming I'm doing it for free, I'm doing it to practice chess candy so I can go home and watch chess candy and see if it was good and see what I need to change. I also like, this forces me to have breaks in my practice, which I'm pretty bad at doing. Um, there's money to be had on the internet. And my whole reason for maybe going a little bit further in is um, like that Mario episode of the podcast did like $350 in ad revenue. And admittedly, that's an outlier episode that everyone wanted to watch, but like, if I could get one of those a month plus some streams. Big boy shit. Just lovely. Um, do I play chess candy again or do I try and play Neighbourhood Watch and come in my own time Ooh, uh, tomorrow and try and do some chess candy stuff? How do I like the new symbols? I absolutely love them. Do I even have it? Oh, I do. I forget that the name of it was uh, System of a Down Live in Rock and Ring 2016. <laughs>
that time, I did forget what happened. <clears throat> Considering I haven't played that song for six months, that wasn't bad, was it, other than forgetting the fucking ending. I do have the backing track so I can hear it without the drums. The minute I hit the drums, I can't hear it. Um, Spineless, boom, 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 and it's a chorus, and, and half of it is different. What kind of hoops do I use in my snare? I use die casts. That's why this happens. Someone said about signature sticks. I do technically have signature sticks. Um, but I just run out of them before tours. You just reminded me I need to order some more. How do you tune your stainless steel so perfectly? Um, to be honest, I haven't tuned it in months. A lot of that is the room mic though. Listen to the room mic on its own. That was actually uh, the end of that carnival song. Yeah, there you go. The end of change. Fucking amazing outro. Um, the overheads are on there because I've got them grouped. But it's mostly that room mic. That's everything. Um, how many drum kits do I have? Four. I have this drum kit again in America. I have the Babinga Star Classic. Um, I have a SLP big black steel kit. Uh, and then I have, that's it, that's four, isn't it? Have I programmed my in-ear click in a way that I know where I am in the song? Have I just learnt the song in my head? Um, I mean, uh, yeah. I think if you're going to play in front of thousands of people without knowing the songs inside out, 
then you're not ready to play in front of thousands of people. But um, there is, I have, so normally I just have bip, 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 just the same fucking click. And then I actually have a two count of bang, 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 before any chorus, new section, or whatever, and it just gives me a little bit of like security. Because otherwise, there's some stages that are so quiet on stage that I really could be anywhere. And if you get in your own head, like, what's for dinner? Like I did earlier, what's for dinner? Boom, you're done. So what I probably need to do is import my clicks into this session, I think. <laughs> Am I missing the minors? Not at all, to be honest with you. The final nail in the coffin was the fact that I didn't crack a cymbal all tour. It's never happened with minor, and that's not me just bad-mouthing them. It's just never happened. I was super stoked for your ride. Plenty of time for that. Am I wrong or he records some tracks with some Zildjans? Um, any bell that you hear on a Stray From The Path album on its own, for the most part, is a Zildjian mega bell overdub later on. Um, and the splash I used on not on the last one, but in internal atomics, the splash was a, that splash actually. How's my foot technique coming along? Chat? Judge me. Will my ride still release from mine? Well, absolutely fucking not, no way. But, if you're budget conscious, what is a good set of Zildjians to get? Do you know what, I have no idea. I really should, they should send me some cheap ones to play with so I could help you. Um, I, I don't even know what the ranges are below these, which I probably should do now. I used to play, when I was a kid, I used to play ZPTs and they were fine and I quite liked them. How did mine all feel about the Zildjian use and recordings? They didn't know, and it happens all the time, guys. It happens all the time. And also, it happens all the time with drum shells. All the time. Do I still have the prototype? No, I've got a couple. If I've, I'm not gonna go over stuff, guys. This will go up on YouTube. Um, the S series is the new ZBT. Well, Jay Weinberg plays an S series ride and it sounds incredible. So I would say go for those. Um, I'm gonna play that song again. See if I can get it right this time. It wasn't that bad though, was it? I don't think it was that bad.
thought I was playing fortune teller for a second, idiot. Things to work. Things to work on. These. I'm going to play fortune teller guys and then I'm going to go home that is almost every song in the set is every song that's on unified which means I can get them all um, cleared so let's just do a little bit of fortune teller to end
it's not bad, guys. It ain't bad. It's honest work. I recorded that whole stream to a hard drive. No editing, it's going straight on YouTube. Simon, if you can make this one private though. I don't know, what, what is the move, guys? Is the move, leave it up so it starts with that many views? It's weird, I don't know how lives get pushed in the algorithm. I'll make it private, I'll make it monetizable, and then maybe I'll just leave it up. Um, I'll, get, I'll get it straight to UNFD today. Keeps adding to views, yeah, I'll do that. Thank you, Ginger. Um, what's for dinner? I meal prepped yesterday. Back on my basic basic BS, guys. Um. Cool. Rock and roll McDonald's, guys. That was fun. I like YouTube, I like being here, guys. I like you guys, you're all cool. Was, the chat is getting good now, isn't it, really? There was nothing painful there. I had a lot of fun there. I'm gonna do this at least twice a week. If you're watching this on YouTube and you weren't here live, hit the little ding dong bell and it will tell you when I'm live, I think, I don't know. If you liked it so much you wanna to come to the Patreon, you pay either one pound or three pound. You don't get any perks other than getting these clothing faster than everyone else and episodes of the podcast faster than anyone else. Um, I think that was lovely. I had a lovely time. Thank you, guys. I hope everyone has a good uh, rest of your week. I've got a lot of podcasting. Undeath episode of the podcast goes up on Thursday. Um, on Thursday, I'm doing it at Shikari. On Friday, I'm doing Alpha Wolf. On Monday, I'm doing Static Dress. Um, all of those will go early to the Patreon. Not that early, about a week early before they go. Best way to do it is to join up to the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash downbeat. Um, love you. If you're watching this in the future, come see us in Australia or Japan. If you happen to own an MMA gym in Japan, will you get in contact with me and let me into your gym? Because I've got tattoos and they won't let me into normal gyms. Um, I might see you at, welcome to Rockville, or I might see you at European festivals. Thank you.